work for you, I get treated like a bitch. Well, look, I was making scores while you were looking up girls' skirts. That's what I want to know is, how do you talk? Got you a nice little place to stop. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Porky. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron. Using a new technology called biorhythmic subconscious gymnastics, the Dormatron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormatron headset, then wrap yourself in a special high voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and... This is it, Tony. Home sweet home. Now take me to my place. So of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new my Boxu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, well, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Laszlo. Is that your real name? Uh, of course it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? Uh, no, I'm from upstate. Hey, Are you sure that? that's not a fake radio name like Andy or Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Here's a question. Hey, apartments cost money. We got a dealer working on North Chinatown. I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fight bitch for the last two years. And it is impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, James from Cedar Grove is on the line and he wants to talk about how difficult it is being a pair today. Liberty City commuters have been dealt a hard blow today when transport workers across the city took industrial action in sympathy for beleaguered ferry workers whose livelihoods are threatened by the construction of the new Porter Road Tunnel. Neither side in this... Sure, sure. 
I'm telling you, man. It's a doc who's a dealer. What have you been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil? Tentures, The Devil, and The Great Cavity Cover-Up by J. Phil Higginbottom. If you've seen what I've seen, and if you've heard what I've heard... I told you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary, you can. <laughs> Hey, can I borrow this? That's funny to you. I've got a thing with a cheese deluxe. See, I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox. Vinny! Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox has had a lot of sleep, very good, and you can put it on the new one. You can have the Equinox with your operating head machinery, driving car, pregnant, and job earning, and you don't have your operating head. Equinox, softening life's harsh rehab needs. Tonight, the TV event that will make history, Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, oh, equip them with grip. Oh. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. Stay off Leone Tarp, asshole. You wanna say something? I'm gonna beat you. You want some more ass heads? Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. Well, you only feel in this city, nobody else. You hear me, you Sendako fucks? Okay, great, another lunatic. Have an attitude, too, if you couldn't reach the friggin' cheesy squirrels at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean, you know, we're not talking about you. What kind of evil maniac are you? Remember JDO? Die in American stereo. Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee Wee? Who do you think you are? Short people are people too. All right, another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love your people, thing. That's what made this country great. Gotta people. Gotta get a place money for the Shylock. Oh, we got a fucking boss ain't too happy. Hey, your mama says I got an energy stuff, please. Cardiac arrest, or organ failure, or major hemorrhage, small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun to stay in my own home and car. I ain't hurting nobody. And countries don't have guns. Tony, oh, you just gave me some great snuff footage. JD, you saw that? You're filming me? Uh, Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America, you know. Well, well, I'm sure. But the, but the thing is, Laszlo, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I would get spanked. Oh, man. Hey, Mama says I got an energy stop, boy. 
JD, you little sicko, get the fuck out of here before I come in there and break your legs. Oh, oh, I'm coming! Oh, but not like that! <laughs> hey, Tony, que pasa, huh? Give us a hug. Oh, 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 you're sticky. Oh, it's the, uh... The, the strip of stuff they put all over me, you know, they like it, you know, they put it anywhere, and uh, so, um, how you doing? What the fuck are you wearing? What? This? Oh, I'm an adventurous lover, you know, I like uh, an experimental sign, you know? Uh, nothing wrong with that, huh? Uh, you can watch if you Oh, want. you're sick. You better shut the fuck up right now. Okay, relax, Tony. Where's my money? See? That's the problem. We are getting ripped off. All right, now you wait here. I gotta go change out of, uh, <laughs> this thing, you know. Hey, Raven! Time to put away the double ender. Hey, Tony. Let's you and me uh, go for a drive. Uh, you know, we got some things we gotta check out. Hey, okay, okay. The girls are ripping me off. We better draw the neighbors and see what's up. In the time technology of absolutely that's one of my girls. House of tomorrow. Hi, JD. I was just about to bring this to you. Honest. House of tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is hey, I recognize that girl. Martinez, who it does. Hey, JD, I got your money right here. New beginnings. A revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Laszlo. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. She's one of my girl. So tell me about Fernando's new beginnings. Did you think I wasn't going to bring this to you or something? It is a revolution. Hey, that pimp is ripping off one of my girls. Get the money back, Tony. on the babies, and she must also be a whore. Gee, don't you trust me no more, J.D.? Come, that's one of my girls in that car. It is impossible. You changed that. Are you checking up on us girls, J.D.? Fernando, those not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement, exactly. Passion, danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how. Hey, J.D., it's been a slow day. This is all I got. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I give a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, suck. Nice work, Tony. Thank God you're here, Tony. Your wife, she looks like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a big difference, my friend. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, Lasso. If a man was born an angel, maybe it's possible. But a man is born a man. And a man with needs. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something nice. So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Lasper. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. 
You did well today, son. I like your style. I always have. Hey, boss, you okay? <laughs> With the dirty bio birds and the dirty bangs and the scrummy brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage bank. He's thinking about what you're thinking about your pretty old sister. We already know that. See? Uh, go on. But Laszlo. What if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and your pretty eyes and pretty hair from there smiling? What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend. But you, more likely... It was so. But then one day, I was driving my car. And I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles roll into one. You save the marriage and you save the man. You know. He's got a prank in my balls. <coughs> Because that is what you do, a beautiful man. So, how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo. A miracle. A man is a good father. Uh, 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 big man, go! Oh. I wish I was driving the connection. Don't make me look my shit, man. I give him passion. <laughs> what, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited market. Laszlo, you are very prejudiced. I know that. But no, not with me. I think for life. Okay. We're going to open it up to the phones. If you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy, ring us now. Hey, oh, cool. We have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bustable woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Hey, buddy, get in line. Do it here first. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Hey, what are you? Some kind of Let's go. Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy. But first of all, she gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive line. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes You're the me, best! Don't the stop! Oh yeah! Daddy! Get your own girl, butthead! This one's mine! You are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmhouse. And now, Jerry is saying, by sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. This is Jess. 
I love the show. I've always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash? No, it's a party, sugar. Force. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janet, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy. No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry, and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty too. This is the thing, guys. The women they think in New Beginnings is only for men. But no. Have fun, guys. Compliments to Tom Corleone. He thinks Senor Wonderful are over again. The new screen case, maybe she come to work for me. And she did a new beginning herself. She discovered the excitement and the passion all for herself. Listen, Janice, you call me Cinco, Cinco, Cinco. Are you all alone, sweetie? Don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very early word. A travesty. I work miracles, senor. Not pimping. I save. I give the passion back. And you better wash yourself. Hey, baby, looking for a good time? very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Talk Show. You Mr. Who cut up my... Hey, good looking. You wanna have some fun? What location do you come from? I am... I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. We're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but you are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? Do I have the money now? Hey, Children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get look. Street crime is on the retreat from today with the establishment of an event. Oh, it's... And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and a closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? Exactly. I knew you'd understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop the tar out of me. He once hit me so hard my spleen fell out of my ear. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now, I'm the best pest control guy in East Portland. I've killed more rats, roaches, vermin than you can imagine, and I love it. This is such a great country, I wouldn't be where I am today if my daddy had feet me What are you talking about? Man, I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please, Call the show right now. This is an SOS going out across the city. All right, let's go over to this one. Let's get the fuck out of here. Are you sane? Are you a sane caller? Sorry, Tony. Hey, killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration not continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee stepper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people are talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They are like sheep. They are going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is turn them up and put them on island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep just...
Sure, Mama. I'll call you later. Yeah. Vincenzo. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, of course. Shut up! You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo. Stick your head in the same dude. No, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from... while you were looking up girls' skirts. Have your bitch job back, boss. I quit. Tony, you're making a bitch. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Does it offend you? I was born naked, I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's sort of invigorating feeling the hot level. You 
know, I mean, what about winter when the wind blows and it's really cold? I mean, do you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked and I'm going to die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the nude? Nah, look, is this lady... Tony, how are you, my boy? I think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself, or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude, groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from... My guidance, Love Media has a... in the free world, alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we at Love Media ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent, quality-led broadcasting every time you tune in. What are you doing? Are you crazy? ...provider in the Northeast, and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bob. Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob? I only had two more payments on that car. Son of a bitch! Gum. People don't disrespect Oh, the breeding ground is crime, ain't they? Well, I guess it seems that way. But well, I got a real simple solution. Shut down. Shut down the school. Shut down the school. Crazy, man. I don't want no more trouble. But you don't think... You know what? Cops are I can shoot books toward... Pirellis have gone too fucking fun. Hey, Tony. Uh, I can't come out right now. I'm busy, you know? Why? What's going on in there? Well, what the hell is that smell? Look, Tony, we're catering to some real uh, specialists today. Their stuff is internet gold dust. What you should be concerning yourself with is that Leone gaming house up in St. Mark's. The Sindacos are going nuts about it. I heard they're gonna blow the place off the map. Sindaco goons coming your way, and they're packing big time. Watch yourself. Thanks, JD. Appreciate it. Made out of milk cream. I'll tell you, working for a living is the American way. That, and the only thing more American is nothing but work for you. That sounds a little oppressive and even despotic. Exactly. That. I hit the nail on the head that time. And doctors and politicians, lawyers, and whatever. I, you know, I can't be bothered to argue with you, but I do feel sorry for your little Johnny, the seven-year-old cook, chimney sweep, paralegal photocopier, because his daddy's an idiot. Let's take a quick break. Phil and I just had another kid, so of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football, and cross practice. So we bought the new My Batsu Monstrosity. It's so big. We lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know that me and my family are safe. The My Batsu Monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rivers. Want a date, boy? I'm gonna rip I can focus on the important things. 
sports, like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new my boxing monstrosity, mom is bigger. Would you like a giraffe? Bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Anything interesting to say at all? Well, uh... My hey, hey, I'm 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 my I got an complex. So, Cole, this place. The doll's house? It's a casino and bordello in one. Classy, so you oh, might lose at the tables, but you can bank on the ass. <laughs> well, the place is key to the setup over here. If you were to put it out of business, you know, uh, blow it up or something. I'm telling you, we'll be golden for South Shore. about. Uh, I'm married. Uh, one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet. I know what you're all like. You know more about men than I know about leopard skin furniture. So listen to that clever stuff and give me some advice. I mean, come on, I got real problems. You see, okay, I had this man, and at first he was real kind to me. He was a real gentleman. A little bit older and everything, but yeah, he treated me really good. And then it all went wrong, and so, you know, I found someone else, and he seems real nice, but, you know, he don't talk too much, so I really can't tell if he likes me. And, well, I guess what I want to know is, you know, how do you tell if the guy is serious? I mean, you know, he treats me good, but... At the foot of the shuttle. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more easy solutions to difficult problems. It's about what it means to be an American. It's about. I got all your home okay, defense needs. I'm on the internet. Bitch, I'm doing me. Oh, you are gonna walk me. It's about justice, Mr. Lowe. A chance to shine and make a difference. About thousands of people walking side by side as Brother March. Only one thing on their mind. The chance to make a difference. Bring your friends. Nothing shows a man how much you mean to him more than the chance to walk together for justice. Bring your kids. 
They can paint signs, and we'll even have a face painter and a vegan barbecue. Bring your parents, dude, even the elderly care about tomorrow. I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station, and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look, you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping America. What kind of patriot are you? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? It's for hope. Please come, everybody. It'll be real good. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. He's not like a romantic cruise, but he can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Oh, wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> Do you have a question? Oh, wait, I don't recognize him. He must be a new guy. You do a great show, man. Thanks. What's uh? What, what, what's up? Oh man, I'm curious. Really great. You're like a total. Get out of here, boy! I'm gonna whip your fucking head off. about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Aeris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. You can fuck it up. Gang Wolf. Overnight.com, delivering little bundles of love and... Okay, that though, actually it is nothing like ice cream with pizza. Ice cream is milk based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well, is a sandwich derivative of Italian origins, but I won't go on. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football and eating junk food. You have to explore your mind and your digestive system, Lazaro. What you put in also comes out. <laughs> Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Lazlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk. Ah, give me a break! On the seat. This is not a period, Lazlo. This is a way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes. Ma? It's me, I'm back. Karate means open hand, but it might as well mean open mind. You don't need grass, I think you're gonna have to. Well, I'm not a I study the martial arts like a stand up fully just like you, and I encourage everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food and martial arts can help you too. <laughs> and I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or a booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phone. Yeah, well, this is your final warning. Do not make me go into my dragon's dance. 
Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. Yoga, not yogurt. I just can't have a tea. So wonderful. I've rejected chocolate now and tap butter out of my life. I've scooted around the house with my legs and behind my head for two days now. But my husband says I look like a chicken exorcist. I even put the dairy on the top shelf of the fridge so I couldn't reach it with my legs and behind my head now. But I grow weak and start knocking things down with a broom. What can I do, Reed? Do not fret, my child. We are all weak. <laughs> you certainly are. Shut up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla vad, though? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature and their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Vad, though. Breakfast buffets with huge pans of juicy bacon. Can we get some bacon in here? Lazo, I go back to basics. I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. Next, I go open up my shop now and then and drink two pints of pan pressed potato juice. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, come to the movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way you instill fear in your opponent. They never know when you might descend from the rafters like a bat. I don't want to hear about those tofu running away. I want to learn about being a ninja. Get his ass. Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in Chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, I once thought like you before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and... Okay, ladies, give me a minute here, will ya? I'm gonna change into something that's a little more me. Okay, ladies, it's milk time! Who's gonna be mama? Oh, my! Ah, oh, come on, girls, get with the program. As a mahogany veneer finish, it has three drawers and... Knowing this station, it cost $100. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half- I made chalk chalk. Oh God! Oh God! Don't look at me! flashing, which means that the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You want a license, too? Your first feels free. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on channel one. Well, little man, oh, I was listening to that English wind you were talking to earlier. I mean, do these guys realize how good they sound? I mean, they have the term to call crackers and this. And they say, I'll look. You bloody Cipriani kicking your asses. Remember that name, fish head. Great plan to get us on the internet. You wanna dance? 
voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be found a day longer than you... <laughs> that was fun. But I'm gonna need to pick up some more stuff. Call Dormatron down at 1800 Sleep Off Lard. Or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and... Good commercial. I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lava. Keep the engine running. Uh -huh. Come on, Maria. No more stealing. Oh, hush, Tony, baby. That was all a misunderstanding back here. Bobo, I thought all those. I'm telling you, I don't have anything hidden up there. Get the hell off of me. Albino carrot says they're known back home. Okay, here's the deal. This isn't guarding with Maurice. That's on later. No, he got taken off the air. He lied. I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fight bitch for the last two years. And it is impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, James and Peter Grove is on the line, and he wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, James. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first-time caller. I wanted to say something about these videos. They are warping our kids' minds. My son saw a few got hit by a truck, and he said, Mommy, Mommy, where's the reset button? Kids these days, they think life is a game. Well, it's not a game. It's very, very serious. I let my kids play video games, and now, running around the house looking for gold coins. This is teaching our children to go chase money. My little parents are playing this new video game it's called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called me today, and Sam oh. used a homemade banana can in the shop class and was lobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Laszlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media. 
bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bag. People say it's bad. It's not bad for you at all. Why aren't you talking? Oh, you think I'm strange? Why on the air? Hello? Answer me, you pants. Tony, honey, I had a great time. in a street race. If Salvatore finds out about this, we're both gonna be in big trouble. So you better come and save my ass. Then maybe it'll belong to you. Forever yours, Maria. Chatterbox, call us on the chatter line to tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. Okay, great, another lunatic. Hello, next caller, you are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitude. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude too if you couldn't reach the freaking Jesus girls in the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean... You know, we're not talking about you. You're not a people maniac, are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? You're all the same. Oh, and I'm still off. And I'm still in court. Listen to me talk about my ball stuff. I think I'll put this on the top shelf. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, TV? Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right, another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love your people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People, opinions, and stuff. Most of all, guns. I had a people whine about guns and kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's a medical fact. You can't die from a bullet. You can die from a cardiac arrest, or organ failure, or a major hemorrhage. Small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun in the safety of my own home in the car. I ain't hurt nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't America. Y you know, that's a really good point. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? Oh, taxes. Oh, you know, look, really wrong. My father works Oh, hey! Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, you are on Chatterbox. Hello, Lazarus. I'm the first time for I need to be used to the 
tragedy from Hampshire in England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Nigel. Yes, yes, I, I do like it too. There's one thing, though, which is very different, rather worrying. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very good. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America, I don't know. Well, well I'm sure. But, but the thing is, now, though, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I would get spanked. Kill me some nanny. Nanny, nanny would spank me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy needs a nanny. Because Freddy's naughty. He needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Absolutely right, Laszlo. It's lovely. Freddy needs a nanny. He needs a nanny, Laszlo, because Freddy's been a very naughty boy. H how old is your son? Come on, Maria, let's go. Well, finally. <laughs> Mr. Tough Guy makes his move. Look, Maria, you're Salvatore's girl. I'm my own girl. You're such a goddamn square. Come on, Wayne, let's party. Hey, I nearly broke my mind. afraid of numbers. Mine and Cosine are two of the most elegant and incredible discoveries of humanity. I mean, the Cartesian coordinate system has an elemental power I find liberating and even sexy. Achieving your dreams. Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! And not. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. <laughs> Thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. Ship 
in American stereotypes, you know? fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and pretty eyes and pretty hair and pretty hair smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, man. But you, more likely, your marriage is wrong. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once, it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car, and I realized Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles rolled into one. You save the marriage and you save the man. You don't put the marriage first, you put the man first. Maybe you call it man marriage. And I think to myself, no, this is a bad thing. It sounds really dumb. Then I think we call it Fernando's rich man. Because that is what you do. You do the so how does this work? It is a miracle, Laszlo. A miracle. A man is a good father, a loving husband, the winner of bread, six and a half days a week. On the spare half day, I save his life. How? By giving him what he needs. And then he it, I, I, I give him back. What, with you? That kind of sounds like a limited market. Last night, you are very friendly. You're like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. Passion for love. Passion for women. Which he can take home to his wife. What, so you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man. A savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to a pleasure he has lost. To the miracles of the world. And truly, the results are remarkable. With my unique counseling, a thousand marriages have been saved, and a million more will be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phone. Hell, go! Final, go! Oh, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bunch of woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a ha- Get out the freaking way! I got click fingers, yo. What the freaking frick? She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy, but fertile. She gives Jerry five kids. But she's even bigger. Now she's like a whole offensive line. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat porker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she.
I work the miracles every day. Time for a public service announcement from station owner. Did your master like a spicy sausage? I can get us some, no problem. Enjoy. So, uh, what do you want to talk about, Tony? Is it the protection money? the city. Let's go over to this line. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? Are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Laszlo. Killer bees. K killer bees. Three years? Did you want to become a bee stepper? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees. So, uh, where, where are we going? Swarming it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees. We still cool, ain't we, Tony? They're like sheep that are going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees. I'll get you the money, I owe. Honest. Hello, oh, you're on the air. I just need to find. Damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear Does your mom still like a spicy sausage? What we do is personalize. I can get us some, no problem. Citizens raging against them. Crap. Exactly. So, uh, what do you want to... Can't we be civilized about this, Tony? Ah! Why are pants 
on fire. What are you? Are you, are you three years old? Lazo's a liar. Lazo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo boo. Stick your head in doo doo. Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also Special sausage meat delivery. I've got to get on with the cheese. Luxury. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Let's uh, go to the chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. What? I got all your home defense needs. Anyway, Laswell, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master or a ventriloquist, you should definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppets. Oh, to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together. It's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having. This strike will continue until. boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwave? Is your next ideal home improvement a moat? Well get ready Liberty City! This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the Medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens oh so fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. Station in Stephanie. lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. Hey, take it easy. We're not in a race. Hey, you're not my regular driver. Who the hell? I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. Uh, you know, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Did you fed you? I was born naked, I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. This strike will continue on waiting to 
talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Lazlo. You can be a figurehead for Liberty City Naturist. We have more members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? I'm hanging out with loads of naked chicks? I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like, like not accidentally cooking yourself. That's the strong U.S. run media conglomerate of the past five years. With new hey, take it easy. We're not in a race. Alongside a wide array of industrial and. Hey, you're not my regular driver. Who the hell are you? Shut up. From now on, you do exactly what Salvador Leone tells you to. Capiche? I, I refuse to be scared by that. We'll see insurance provider in the Northeast, and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. Please, don't kill us both. I'll do whatever you want. Lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bob. Bob the Pond Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob the Pine Creek? Well, I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about problems in school. Gums, people showing disrespect to teachers, drugs. Well, the breeding grounds of time, ain't they? Well, I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real simple... This strike will continue until... Cook, chimney sweep, paralegal, photocopier, because his daddy's an idiot. Let's take a quick break. Phil and I just had another kid, so of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football, and lacrosse practice, so we bought the new My Batsu Monstrosity. It's so big, we lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone,
duty to love his wife even if she is like a farmer and now Jerry is saying The studio kind of uh, forced him on. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he no make you happy? No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy. Hello? But very pretty lady. This is the thing, Lashua. The women they think in New Beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women too. For Janice, if her husband goes to New Beginning, she thinks Senor Wonderful are over again. And in the extreme case, maybe she comes to work for me. And she gets a new beginning. Hey, Howard Ferry Station is set Not being paid. I sit. Hey, take it easy. We're not in a race. Hey, you're not my regular driver. Who the hell are you? Shut up, boy. From now on, you do exactly what Salvatore Leone tells you to. For peace. I refuse to be scared by that. We'll see. Latin is a big place there, but. Please don't kill us both. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but you are chosen, my friend. And I was called, and chosen, to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? Too happy money now? And not real Latin. Okay, okay, I've got enough. I'll do whatever you want. Every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give... And don't forget our little agreement, lady. Log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. Well, all right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo I with... I got all your home defense needs. Thank you, kids. The only way to teach them right I'm and wrong. So you honey. think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our... So hard, my sweet fell out of my ear. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now, I'm the best pest control. the city. All right, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? <laughs> are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Laszlo. Killer bees. K killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration goes continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee stepper? I don't. That's why we must hike down. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people aren't talking about this. I mean, killer bees.
Women, what are you gonna do about them, huh? Luckily, I can trust someone in my life. You, Tony. You're very important to me. Did I ever tell you that? You can't even get it up, you old bastard. Not for you! I don't like using public toilets, you slut! Very important. So listen, it's you and me now. We're in charge. We got those fools on the run. How would you know? You're more interested in hanging out with men. And you're only happy when you got your drawers around your ankles and your back against the wall. Christ, I met rabbits who like to fuck less than you. So listen, fuck this is you, important. Fuck you, Salvatore Leone, you no-dick, bullying, wife-beating piece of a Fuck me! Dick. Fuck you! In fact, everyone has! Anyway, I got a shipment that you know... for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair every weekend at Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason. Oh, who's on the line? Close. What, what about them? Close. What are you talking about? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a line where it's closed, and the line is the king of the jungle. 
So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess the line has two distinct advantages. Uh. What about winter, when the wind blows and it's really cold? I mean, you prance about like a ninny waiting for your privates to go blue? I was born naked, I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and all shriveled up by the sound of things. Winter was invented by clothing companies. Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. Have you ever cooked in the nude? Search my hard drive. Oh, my heart's racing. Uh, you got any Valium or uh, Rohypnol? What about? Oh, no, no. See, I got too many of those. What's going on? Oh, God, I can't believe this. Why am I to blame? It's not my fault. But you know Salvatore. Oh, he's gonna get the vice squad on my ass. 
Oh my god. It's gonna be like those statutory rape charges. Have you ever been in prison on statutory rape charges, man? They come in at you with the showers. Oh god, and she was 18. Oh my god, this, this, this is gonna be worse. Listen, you babbling cocksucker. One god's name is wrong. It's Salvatore. He was kidnapped while leaving the club. Well, why didn't you say so instead of making me listen to that crap? Come on! One of the guys. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu monstrosity has four wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rivers. So far, I've only hit a few puddles, but it's good to know it's there. With the time I save taking shortcuts through the strip mall parking lot, I can focus on the important things like gazing longingly at the pool boy or buying more exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? <laughs> I'm a mom, not a conservationist. The new Maibatsu monstrosity. Would you like a giraffe? I'll have one delivered. Just log on to sexovernight.com. driving was that? You trying to kill me? Mr. Leone, boss, I'm sorry. Men in the city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. Yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, man, I mean, what, what, what else is there? I could go on all day, but oh, you know how it is, don't you, Laszlo? Uh, not really. Uh, what's your name? What did you call about? Uh, 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 I'm sorry, uh, I'm Maria, you know, Maria, like Mamma Mia, only different, you know, but, what the you know, friend? men, M-E-N, <laughs> it's dirty work, only there's like three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcast is the same, aren't you? I mean, I heard about you, you're always out of boys nights. <laughs> Drop the dollar. <gasps> Oh, 
Salvatore clean house, huh? And now he's fixing up yours. No. It's all mine now, Tony! Okay. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Kind of like a romantic cruise, but you can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Oh, wow. This is amazing. You do a great show, man. <laughs> Thanks, what's uh, what, what, what's up? Oh man, I'm serious, really great. You're like a total inspiration. And exactly what have I inspired you about? Well, okay, right now I live at home, but pretty soon, like next week, dude, I'm moving out, it's uh, 640, it's, it's just time to go. Okay, did you have anything relevant? You eat bogus. That's all. Great show, last though. I, I appreciate that. That's why I went to broadcasting school. All right, when we come back from these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Eris, we make high-quality footwear. In fact, you can... I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow, you're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Harris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been one of the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. So keep quiet, bastardi de Leone.
Oh, it's me, your creepy Uncle Lester. This boy is frightening, man. You watching the best GTA streamer on Twitch, Hugo One. You are watching Hugo One. Hugo One! Yeah! You watching the biggest buster on Twitch and YouTube, Hugo One. Follow my boy Hugo One, man, on his Twitch. And subscribe to his YouTube, man. Don't forget to turn on y'all notifications, man. Stay tuned, because that boy be doing some things, man. Keep talking shit, Hugo. to PetsOvernight.com. This is great. I slaved for the Sadakos for years. Nothing. Those bastards kept me down. Just took a little, I was blood in my veins. Salvatore, God bless him. He don't let a little thing like that get in the way. Oh, Daddy, no! Hello, caller. You're on the air. Wow, I got through. But, uh, Razzle, well, I'm trying to... Callers are a perfect example of manners in the city. People are rude, and they don't seem to care about anything but themselves. Perfect example. The other day, I stopped at the store to pick up an exercise bar because I had to have breakfast before lunch. So I go up to pay, and the lady's like, $1.25, please. So I get out my checkbook, and the guy behind me is like, oh, come on, lady, you don't have $2? And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't. I spent my last... Anyway, can't you see that I'm wearing my I Walked with a Cure t-shirt? People are so considerate. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly! A another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Cherie. I don't believe And this maniac it. comes right up on my bumper. Flashing your lights, and I'm like, hey guy, the light is red. Finally, not the only to be a made man. Then he gets over this megaphone and says to the woman in the teal my botsu monstrosity. Hey, are we there? Uh, where's Salvatore? Tony, the first drink's on me. Hey, the guy was a fucking rat. He screwed over his own boss. The scratch yard. Salvatore could never trust it, that motherfucker. If the cops see the car like this, they'll pull us over for sure. Laszlo, that caller made a really valid These kids today have no respect for authority. And there's one thing that would put them into shape. Let me guess, the, the military. That's right. The military teaches you respect, okay, and it gives you a good pitch. That thought they were going to be millionaires. Look where the highway has gotten I'm getting the hell out of here. And some girls, if more people would join the military, this would be a better country. These kids don't respect veterans. We fought for your freedom. When I came back from the Australian American War, I didn't get a hero's welcome. I didn't get a pat on the back from my friends and neighbors saying, Thanks for fighting for our freedom, Jack. After years of...
The chicken didn't die in vain. We've got a new friend for everyone. Exercising and eating right. Benny, I'm here. Where the hell are you? The Gomatron headset, then wrap yourself in the special high voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine. Is for me, don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1 800 Sleep Off Lard. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new My Batsu Monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, what well, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dumbass Kim dead yet? Hate to disappoint you, Vinny. You son of a bitch! Why can't you just die already? You should have never come back, Tony. I worked my fingers to the bone for Salvatore, and you just come wandering back to town, and he saw Tony this and Tony that. This is my town, Tony! My town! You ain't taking it away from me! I'm gonna enjoy this. Salvatore! Softening lights for sure. We got trouble. Big trouble. I only use my machine gun in the safe of my own home and car. I ain't hurt nobody. And 
Countries that don't have guns ain't American. You, you know, that's a really good point. The countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Good night. in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, lad. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Ah, uh, thanks. So, tell me about Fernando's new beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle. Sacred. The bond between the father and the mother. It is made in heaven and in... Lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Ah, uh, from you. 
go. Uh, who's this? Just a little, uh, P.O. as they say. Pissed off, as the kids say. That's the Grove Street. Taken by the Bonas. The Bonas got the Grove Street. Uh, no, not really. Why are you calling in today? Because I'm a cartoon. Ah! Right? Oh, out there. Okay. But none of it's real. Do you have anything else to say, or...? Get it! Sweet, sweet, sweet! So sweet! Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Oh, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. But uh, Laszlo, I think your last few callers are a perfect example of. Every day, I stop at the store to pick up an exercise bar to have some breakfast or lunch. So I go up to pay, and the lady's like, a dollar twenty-five, please. So I get out my checkbook, and the guy behind me is like, oh, come on, lady, you can have two dollars? And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't. I spent my last two dollars last night buying gas at these ridiculous gas prices, and besides, who are you anyway? Can't you see that I'm wearing my I Walk to the Curve t-shirt? People are so inconsiderate. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I, mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly! A another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with... Well? Well what? Don't play dumb with me, kid. I was playing dumb when your mother was still turning tricks. Our next caller, all right. Colonel James T, United States Marine Corps. Head towards the ferry terminal. But the strike's still on. There won't be any ferry. Just drive. Oh, I'm going. Let me guess. The military. That's right. The military teaches you respect. Oh, gives you a good pitch. Kids that thought they were going to be millionaires. Look where the information highway has got Nowhere. It's a dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boys. And some girls. If more people join the military, this would be a better country. Jesus Christ, the cops are going up. Here's the fuck out of here. Where are we going? Callahan Bridge. Callahan Bridge ain't finished yet. We're about to be finished if we don't drive. Now move it. Thanks for fighting for our freedom, John. After years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here and everyone's walking to me. Now, can you tell me what this Australian-American war was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another. Have you read a history book lately, son? The Australian-American war was the biggest war since the big. I tell you, I didn't see two tools and take boomerang shrapnel in my head. So I can come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They acquire kangaroos with a clue. Come hopping in a can. Knock out ten guys. Yeah. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. We're gonna need everything this piece of shit's got. Punch it, Tony. Oh, shit! Uh, 
Who's this? Get the little one. Tony, you did it. I knew I could trust you. Well, I could kiss you if you shaved. Now listen, I know a safe place where we can both fly low for a while. Come on, let's go. not really. Why are you calling in today? Because I'm a cartoon. Do you have anything else to say or get it? Sweet, sweet, sweet. So sweet. Get off, get lost, get out of my studio. The industrial action that had cut off Portland from the rest of the city has finally come to an end. Or has it? Although all the subway and ferry routes are now officially open, militant workers are continuing with their blockade in parts of the city. The elevator bridge connecting Staunton Island and Shoreside Vale has been shut down. The strikers refuse to believe assurances made by city officials over the future of the ferries. Yeah, this is the place. I'm going to take a look around, see what's what. I might see you here later.